Okay, well, I'm going to have to do this video uh, in the kitchen. The girls have taken over the man cave. You know, the man cave's taken a lot of hits lately. Um, <laughs> most of everything else goes in there nowadays. But anyhow, uh, the kids are out of school for the year. And uh, so, of course, they're on the computers. We have all of the computers mostly in that room. So that's where uh, they congregate. They play Minecraft. They watch YouTube videos. So, yeah, I mean, the things I like to do, that's what they like to do, too. But anyway, it's not what this video is about. It's about a question that I get kind of often, and it revolves around where to live in the area. Now, city life is not for everyone. In fact, a lot of people are asking about uh, neighborhoods, excuse me, within Tacoma that they would, that we would suggest, but also some of the cities that are outside of here um and uh, that but that are kind of close uh some people obviously want to have a place that is close to seattle as much as possible because that's where a lot of the jobs are obviously um but we also have people who will say you know what actually i'm looking for a place closer to tacoma but not necessarily in tacoma uh what would you suggest now it, there's no surprise some of these are going to come off um from what I've said before. Now, if you're looking at neighborhoods, which I'll tackle first, I'm going to stick with the same ones I've always said. Uh, downtown is probably going to be your best option for some, uh, if you can afford it. You know, one bedrooms now are going to be in the neighborhood of about seventeen to eighteen hundred dollars or more. Uh, some of the newer properties that are going up, studios cost seventeen hundred dollars, uh, is what they're speculating. Um, so if you have the ability to do so and you're not wanting to own a home, then downtown would be probably a good option if you can definitely afford it. By no means does that mean that all one bedrooms are going to start off at that price. Um, there are some properties that do have two bedrooms and three bedrooms, but downtown is very, very safe. Um, you know, we've had out of town guests here for about a week and they're from Atlanta we told them, you know, walking through downtown safe. And in fact, uh, their first night here, I believe, or second night here, uh, the streetcar stopped uh, running and we had to walk from McMinimins all the way to UWT. And that whole way, um, I mean, the only thing that you heard were crickets. <laughs> you know, it's like there's an active part of downtown and then the rest of it is active. At night, it's active. The other part's active during the day and the part we were walking in is active during the day. It was just really quiet. Very safe. Great place to raise a family uh, downtown. You can't say that about a lot of downtown cities. Um, but yeah, downtown Tacoma is pretty safe. Uh, some would argue the safest in the city. Uh, a lot of things to do. A lot of transit options are right there in downtown. Outside of that, other places I would definitely recommend would be uh, the Stadium District. Now, again, some would argue that this is still technically kind of downtown and part of it touches that. Stadium is really, really nice. It's been up and coming for quite some time. Uh, there's a lot of amenities that are there, a lot of parks. Um, and so it's a little bit more pricey. You're going to see a lot more homes in the Stadium District. Not going to see as many apartment buildings, but it does have a lot of cool mom and pop stores there. There are some stores coming in that are chains, but uh, typically it still has that uh, mom and pop feel and feel. And it is definitely how people recognize Tacoma, right? Stadium High School is right there as well. And that's in, uh, what's it called? Whatever movie that was. 10 Things I Hate About You. So, uh, no one knows that movie. I, I don't. I haven't even seen it, but yeah, so that's there. Another area that I haven't really talked much about is 6th Avenue. 6th Avenue is kind of a, uh, I don't want to call it a club district, but you will definitely find a lot of places for entertainment, a lot of places to eat. It's a very lively place. Um, if you want to be in a neighborhood that is really starting to become its own, that is one of the places you might want to consider. There are now more developments going on around 6th uh, Avenue. Uh, if you look outside of 6th Avenue on either side of it, you're going to find a lot of residential homes and single family homes. You don't see a lot of apartment buildings. That is changing. There are actually several projects in the works that are going in 
that are really starting to build up that neighborhood to accommodate more people. So you're starting to see more apartments come in um, and get developed. So that doesn't mean that you can't find houses to rent or rooms to rent. You can, uh, but apartment buildings are starting to go in there as well um, soon. One of the other places that doesn't really get a whole lot of shine when we're talking about neighborhoods is the Lincoln District. Now, the Lincoln District, it really has done a lot of revitalization. I mean, the city has actually went through and updated the roads and things like that and really make it a lot more hospitable um, because, I mean, the roads were in not in great shape. A lot of Tacoma roads have been in bad, poor shape, but recently they've actually, the city has actually made strides to improve that. And you, it's kind of known as our international district or our Chinatown. So you go there and you will be able to see a lot of stores that range from Vietnamese to Chinese to everything else. And it's a really nice place um, that has, is really starting to revitalize and change and grow as well. Now, I'm not aware of any major developments in terms of apartment buildings or projects going in, but I think it's going to be one of those places that is... Uh, key to definitely start seeing that spark, that growth. A lot of people like to be kind of in a town type vibe, like a small town vibe. And Lincoln District kind of gives me that feel. If you're walking along it, you're going to see kind of like, a, it looks like Main Street, to be honest with you. Even though you're right in the center of Tacoma, not necessarily the center, but you're right in Tacoma, it feels like you're in a small little town. Um, so some people may like that. The fact that they can easily go to any sort of store or restaurant they would like to eat at, especially if you like uh, Vietnamese food and things like that, probably a good place to choose. Um, and also, it's not as pricey. The farther you get away from downtown, you're going to have less and less issues with price. It's still pricey for some, obviously. It is Tacoma. Prices are going up everywhere. But it gives you an option, right? Um, so it's close to downtown, really, kind of. But you're far enough away to where the price effects are not so strong. The other places I mentioned are going to be pricey. Sixth Avenue is going to definitely be pricey as well. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Sweets needed me. So <clears throat> all of those places I mentioned in terms of those neighborhoods, one could afford, with the exception of Stadium District, is kind of hit and miss, a regular average person or a family could easily afford. So, excuse me, what I mean by that is, is that if you're just a regular middle class family, it wouldn't be much of a problem. Um, you can definitely find something. You have to do some searching, um, but you can definitely find something in all of those places. Again, with stadium being kind of hit and miss. And when I say the average, let's say if you make 50 grand, you should be good, right? Um, that's not the actual average, but I'm saying if you make it 50 grand in any of those places I mentioned, you should be doing pretty fine. Um, but again, it's, it depends on your situation, right? If you have vehicles, that's something to consider that definitely changes that. If you have several kids, that changes that. Um, when you start to have more than one kid, then you're going to have to start making a little bit more. You have to consider things like daycare. Uh, you have to consider that you're going to need more space, so that adds to it. So that $50,000 is mainly for a couple. Um, or you might be able to squeeze it by with just one kid. Now, are there other people that make it on less than that? Absolutely. But again, you have to do some really hard searching. Um, now, one of the other places, which is called Proctor, is a neighborhood that a lot of people... Uh, really and truly enjoy. It's one of those places that get um, the reputation of being kind of hoity-toity. <laughs> it is. But it's a nice community. Um, you're going to find a lot of single homes there. You're not going to see a lot of apartment buildings or anything like that, but you will find a lot of retail establishments that are there from eateries to small little shops and again a lot of mom and pop places so if you're looking for a place um, that has really nice homes a little bit more affluent this is going to be your place right in terms of neighborhoods moving outside of neighborhoods and tacoma we're going into some of the suburbs now i mentioned dupont dupont is a really nice community it's considered to be one of the most walkable areas or walkable cities in the area 
Um, you're going to have a lot of parks, a tremendous amount of trails, and a lot of people literally just go from place to place to place using the trails. A lot of nice homes. Uh, developers are trying to develop more places for homes, but it's becoming kind of tight. It's along the water as well. So for folks who like outdoor type stuff, trails, walkability, close to water, this is going to be your place. Relatively safe. I mean, you don't hear any issues in terms of DuPont, in terms of problems like that. Um, it's a great community for a family. I mean, you can't get much better. Typically ranks pretty high up there when you're talking about the area and where to live. Lots of things to do. You're very close to uh, Tacoma. You're just right outside of it. And it's just south. And soon they're going to actually have the Sounder commuter train station is going to be right there in DuPont. You're able to actually take that all the way into Tacoma and then all the way up into Seattle as well. So DuPont is one of those places that if you can find a place, it's a great place to actually choose. They have a lot of townhomes that are available. So if you're looking for a home that is going to definitely be good for you and your family, DuPont's going to be definitely it, right? Definitely check that. It's probably top on the list. The next place is University Place. University Place is actually going, if you're, if you're looking right at uh, Tacoma, Tacoma doesn't sit far west as it can go. Actually, there's another city that sits west of Tacoma, and that's University Place. University Place is definitely hoity-toity, definitely pretty safe, and it's right there on the water. Now, it is one of those places that's very desirable, has a lot of great places to shop, Trader Joe's, it's one of the very few that's here, Whole Foods, I believe, is over there as well. You won't even find those right in side of Tacoma. Uh, really nice community. Again, you're going to see a kind of a mix of a, several different things. Homes are going to be there, but also some apartments as well. You're going to be paying a lot more. This is going to cost a lot more than what you're going to typically find in uh, Tacoma. So again, you're going to find homes that are going to have a drastic range, but you're going to definitely have a lot of um, uh, how do I put this so that it doesn't sound kind of, I don't know. They take very good care of the city. I'll put it to you that way. There's a lot of manicured lawns, a lot of manicured streets, things like that. So if that's something that appeals to you, safe area, fairly decent schools, all of that type of thing, University Place is going to be it if you can afford it. It, it, it is kind of, it's kind of pricey. Um, Puyallup. Now, Puyallup, some people like it, some people don't. Puyallup has, is not a, a high on the list like it used to be, in my opinion. Uh, it's still a great community. Um, some say there's a lot more older people that live there. It's where the state fair is. Uh, so if that's some, some people, they traditionally go to the state fair every single year. Um, this is something that's going to be there. So if you don't like being in a city that's going to have a lot of traffic, it only happens just a certain short time of the year, but that is actually there. Um, it also is a city that's right in the zone for, uh, you know, if a volcano pops, then this is kind of like where uh, the, is it the lava flow or something? I can't remember, but it's right in that, it's considered to be in the danger zone. So some people don't really like that concept or that idea, right? Even though it may be another hundred years before uh, Mount Rainier pops, you never know. It could be tomorrow. So that kind of throws people off a little bit. But, you know, I was talking about the whole small town quaint uh, feel. Their downtown is definitely like that. A lot of little small shops. Puyallup is kind of up and coming. A lot of uh, Tacoma places are going there, like Anthem Coffee, which is amazing, by the way. Their coffee. But they... That's besides the point. So they're getting a lot of different things from Tacoma coming up to Puyallup. It's a great little community right outside of uh, Tacoma. Again, it's just right next door. Um, and a lot of people consider that, yeah, people who will say, okay, I live in, I work in Federal Way, but I live in Puyallup. Puyallup is right between Tacoma and Federal Way, depending upon how you look at it. Uh, and so that's kind of considered to be uh, a cool place. Now relatively safe safe as well federal way 
Federal Way is, some would argue, a suburb of Tacoma. Some say it would not, so I don't even consider any of that. But it is right next door to Tacoma. And Federal Way has a lot of great options. Now, it is getting the light rail system that will be coming relatively soon. I think in the next seven years, they're going to be connected to Seattle with the light rail system. That's a great thing. Uh, it is in King County, so you have to consider that. The other places I mentioned are down in Pierce County, which is the same county of Tacoma. Um, so your taxes are going to be a little bit, you have to consider that. Uh, King County taxes versus Pierce County taxes, that's a whole totally different bag of, of books, but it is a fairly great city to, to live in. A lot of different options for shopping. It is a fairly decent sized city, um, and so a lot of people are drawn to Federal Way. It's a much more affordable option than, say, Seattle, um, and it's, it's just the place that people would consider to live instead of being up in Seattle. Now, there have been some issues in terms of South King County cities and crime. And so Federal Way is kind of getting that reputation as well as some others. So that's something that you may want to consider um, to look into. But again, home price, they have a lot of homes. Home prices are going to vary. But again, it's not going to be anything comparable to what you're going to find up in Seattle. Um, jumping back down into this area a little bit more Gig Harbor. Now, Gig Harbor, I kind of put it off to the end, and this is not in any sort of order, but to me, Gig Harbor is one of those ones where it just depends, right? You have to go over the narrow bridge to get to Gig Harbor, and not that the bridge is the problem, it is that you have to pay for it when you come back into Tacoma. Going to Gig Harbor, not a problem. It's when you actually go from Gig Harbor into Tacoma. So if your job is in Gig Harbor, not a problem. Or if you have a company that has something to, that pays for your travel back and forth, not a problem. But otherwise, you're going to be stuck paying a toll every single time that you have to go into Tacoma. Um, and that can get old very quick. Other than that, not a bad drive uh, to get from Gig Harbor to uh, Tacoma. Now, Gig Harbor is great because, yeah, you're surrounded by water, obviously. Uh, smaller city, people tend to like that type of vibe. They don't want to be in all the hustle and bustle. Tacoma's becoming a big city very quickly. You don't get that feel, obviously, in Gig Harbor. Very quaint, uh, kind of secluded in a way because, again, you have to, I mean, there's a bridge and water that separates it from. Anything that's on a, you know, completely different area is going to be where you have to cross water you're going to get that kind of secluded feeling. But some people some people enjoy that. Me, I couldn't tolerate it. There's not enough there to do for me. So that is something you have to consider. If you're going to want to just be active and have a lot of fun places to eat and different things to do all the time, probably Gig Harbor is not going to be it. It does have places to eat and it does have things to do, but it's not going to be anything comparable to what's on this side of the Narrows Bridge. Here you have a whole list of different places you can go. If Tacoma is not your fit, you can go over to uh, University Place or, you know, Puyallup or, you know, Fircrest or you can go any place, right? But there, you're kind of, unless you're going to pay to come over, you're kind of in that general area. There's other places you can go to, but you're not going to get the same feel. But there are a lot of great homes there. A lot of people do choose to live there and actually work inside of Tacoma and other places as well. Uh, some people have jobs there. It depends on kind of what your feel is. There are other cities, too, that not really are going to be really mentioned that much. There's Parkland, which is just right outside of Tacoma. Small, small city. Some of these areas down here are unincorporated, meaning that they are a part of Pierce County, but they don't belong to any particular city. So that gets kind of weird. Uh, but Parkland is another city that's south of us. If you want to be kind of further away from Tacoma and get into more of a rural setting, um, and be on this side of the Narrows Bridge, then places like uh, Parkland and Father South uh, would be probably your, your best bet. Anyhow, I hope I gave some information to some folks um, in terms of where to actually consider. When you go south of Tacoma, prices for homes are probably going to be a little bit better, obviously, because you're getting further and further and further away uh, from downtown you're still going to be paying some decent money. So if you're coming from Bowling Green, Kentucky, for example, prices here are going to probably shock you a little bit, no matter where you go. But 
hey, even if you go down to Spanaway. Spanaway is another city that people may want to consider, bigger than Parkland. Uh, the BRT line is going to connect you from Spanaway to Parkland all the way to Tacoma downtown. Spanaway is another option. has a lot of places to eat. It's more like your typical suburb, really, uh, where you have, you know, the strip malls and things like that. It's, and there's a lot of homes, a lot of range, a lot of different things. So to some that makes sense, but that is more of your strip mall type of city. Whereas when you start to come up this way, not as much, right? Anyhow, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.